Welcome to another edition of Lodestone. Lodestone meaning we want to have this channel be a magnet for the truth. I have some guests here with me this afternoon. Uh, if you look behind us, we're in front of Men's Central Jail and the Twin On the right. and the Twin Towers Correctional Facility downtown Los On the Angeles. Left. On the left. Where we have how many? This is Pastor Chaplain Martin Wilson, and this is Azara, and uh, who works down here in our ministry as well. Um, how many inmates are in there? I think Pastor there are Martin? about eighteen thousand between Mount Central Jail and the Twin Tower Correctional Facilities. Pastor Martin is the one who recruited me, and he recruited Azar, and he has been doing this for quite a while. Exactly when did you get started in this? It's Pastor? been, it's hard to believe, but it's been about eight years now. And uh, you want me to explain how that happened? How it happened? So I was reading uh, in my devotions one morning, Matthew chapter 25, where it talks about the sheep and the goats, when our Lord returns in his glory with all the angels, uh, he will assemble all the people of the earth and separate them into two groups, his, his uh, sheep on the right and goats on the left. And uh, to the sheep he'll say, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was uh, naked and you clothed me. I was uh, in the hospital sick and you came to care for me. Uh, and then the last one it says, I was a stranger, you took me in. Then it says, uh, I was in prison and you came to visit me. When I read that, it just the, like the Holy Spirit said, you're not doing that. And uh, there might be opportunity for you to do that. Uh, we are kind of involved in the other things. But uh, so I prayed about that after uh, reading uh, the devotional that morning said, Lord, if you want us to be involved in this, just make it clear. Next Tuesday at our Bible study, in walked a man who I had never met, South Korean. His name is Jun Lim. And he had come to our church because he was interested to meet uh, ones from a Muslim background who had become Christians. Uh, he was doing research on that. Uh, and it turns out he is a chaplain here at the Twin Towers. Uh, so uh, I said, well, Jun, do you think I could come in with you? He said, sure. He got me a one-day pass, and I was in the next week leading a Bible study, and uh, it grew from there. Uh, others in the church, including Sister Azar, uh, and then uh, ones uh, in the American church, Beverly Hills Presbyterian, like David, uh, uh, became interested. And so we've I've been doing this now for eight years, and... Uh, God has really been a blessing. It's been a wonderful opportunity. We love having Azara in there. Um, one of the things that sometimes, we, well, every we always pray before we go in, and I always want her to pray in Farsi because when she prays in Farsi, it's just like, it's something you just have to experience. It's really special. This woman really loves God. She really loves Jesus. She's very faithful. She loves to come down here and share her faith. Um, Azara just briefly just share something with us about what this ministry means to you. I'm very, very blessed to do this. Um, about three years ago, I attended the Beverly Hills Iranian Church, uh, pastored by uh, Chaplain uh, Martin Wilson. And uh, he mentioned about the ministry uh, in jail, and I was very, very uh, fascinated because I was looking for uh, services like this. I always wanted to serve my Lord, and uh, I'm walking with the Lord for the last 26 years, and I really had opportunities to serve my Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took advantage and I joined this team, and for the last two years, I'm doing this service, and um, I'm very, very blessed. Uh, since uh, I uh, can uh, visit inmates uh, that they really have visitors and they need to uh, talk to someone uh, to can save 
everybody's life as well, uh, especially mm -hmm. the inmates. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very blessed with this. That's, a, that's really special. That's what makes it special for me is every week when we come down here, we have a list of inmates that want to hear from God's word, that need prayer, that have court dates coming up and that seem to have lost all hope and they don't know where their families are and they have a lot of stuff on their plate and we're just able to come in here, be used of God. We always pray that the Holy Spirit leads us to the ones that really need to hear a word and uh, it's just a blessing to do it. and. Um, like Martin said, there's about 18,000 inmates and the chaplain staff is what, 30 or 40? So we have plenty of work to do. I mean, we just tip the, what do they call it? The tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. We barely, barely do it. So Martin, if you've got anything you'd like to add, otherwise. Um, sure, uh, about five years ago, I heard uh, that the Muslim inmates, uh, as you probably know, there's a fair number of the inmates that uh, convert to Islam. Uh, and there's various reasons for that. Uh, part of it is they like the outward expression of the spiritual disciplines, like when they pray together up and down, uh, it, it creates an atmosphere of camaraderie. Uh, and uh, they like that and other aspects that attracts them. So uh, I found out that the Muslim inmates, uh, many times their requests were not being met uh, because uh, as I looked into it, the, the Imams, uh, can't always make it in as often as they'd like to and there's various reasons for that so uh, we prayed about it and I really felt the Lord saying uh, go ahead and, and uh, look into visiting them uh, and the Lord's just opened the door wonderfully for that opportunity uh, in fact to the point now where they call me Imam Martin <laughs> and the Imams are very good at supplying the Qurans, the Kufis which is a black hat they wear and the prayer mats that have been uh, uh, authorized to be used in the jail. And uh, so we are able to hand those out and in the process we always give them a Bible, uh, their interest in the Bible because the Quran says there's four holy books. Did you know that David, right? Yes, yes. And uh, one they say being the Quran and the other three are the Torah, the Zabur and the Injil. Torah is the first five books of the Bible written by Moses. Zabur is the Psalms and the Injil is the New Testament. So as a good Muslim, they should also be reading the Bible. So uh, it gives us opportunity to give them a Bible and uh, we've established wonderful friendships, mm -hmm. not only with the inmates, but also uh, with uh, many of the Imams. And the guards and the employees. And the guards. And, uh, We're here so. not to <clears throat> just minister to inmates, but We're the uh, deputies, the staff. Uh, mm -hmm. Just this morning we met uh, one of the nurses uh, very friendly. So of course wherever you are as a follower of Christ you are to represent him. And as followers of Christ we definitely feel it's our duty and our job to bring in the gospel of Jesus Christ, the message of the cross. Amen. Amen. And so uh, well I'm sure glad we didn't have any distractions here today. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Martin, no uh, no motorcycles, no helicopters. At least the helicopter didn't land on the hel helipad, <laughs> yeah. which is just our right yeah. here. Oh yeah, that's right, it is right there. So anyway, uh, if you like the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, give us a like, God bless you, and uh, we'll see you next time. God bless you. God bless you.